And what's really impressive, folks, are these old coils that make up the uh, W8VYZ tuning antenna tuning network. I mean, this is really impressive. I was telling Bill, this is this is the type of uh, tuning network that you expect to find aboard a uh, a ship back in maybe the 1920s. You know, with with all the tuning circuitry out in the open, which would, would provide an easy access. We're going to change frequencies or whatever. How's that, Bill? No. Don't have any shielding around the quills. Uh, it might suck up some of the RF. <laughs> don't want to lose one watt. There you go. <laughs> we wouldn't want to do that. No, it costs too much to. We're, We're looking at uh, This is a, a close up of, of Bill's. Uh, hey, Bill, what frequency does this tuner cover? A big one? Yeah. 75 to 160. 75 to 160, and this is a balanced system, is it not? Yeah, it's all balanced. Yeah. All balanced. Yeah. There's the homemade uh, coil on, yeah. on top and uh, coming down here. We have a very large uh, butterfly uh, capacitor. And then next to that, we have, uh, what is that? That's the, uh, what, 40 meter? Yeah, the next one is, covers 40 through, uh, through 10. 40 through 10. And then the little ones. That covers 10, 10 and 6. 10 and 6. I mean, I'm talking about some real hardware, fellas. And the next one down is 10 and 6. They're both the same. This one is 10 and 6. That's this guy off in the distance here. Fantastic. Hey, you got to get you another beer. You should drop down. No, 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 no. That's quite all right.